Welcome back to the Nest Peeps. In today's video, we're going to talk about my next level up moment, and that is when I found out about the paint handle. When I started painting, I held on to my models the same way most of us did, and some of us probably still do. I would grip the model up by the base, and I would paint it in my hand. The problem with that is your hand starts to cramp up after a while. There are many problems with this, one being stability, another being longevity of paint session. You see, when you're holding on to a model by its base, your hand starts to cramp up because your fingers are, your hand is just in a position that it doesn't want to be in. So what ends up happening is your hand gets all crampy and then for me, an hour in, I would have to put my model down and give my hand a rest because I, I'm an old man. I can't hold my hands like this for that long. After a little while, I started getting fed up with this and I started doing some research trying to find out what I could use to mitigate the issue I was having with my hand cramping. After a quick search on the internet, I found that a lot of painters used painting handles to help mitigate that cramping while they're painting and to add a little bit more stability. After plugging painting handle for miniatures into YouTube, I came across a myriad of videos explaining the subject. Some of those videos being product reviews for retail paint handles that are on the market and others explaining how you can create a paint handle yourself. After looking into all the options that are out there for paint handles, both purchasing them and creating them yourself, I decided to go with the tried and true method of the pill bottle and sticky tack. I like the idea of the pill bottle because what you can do is you can fill it up with sand and kind of adjust the weight of the handle to what's comfortable for you. And the other thing that the sand adds is weight. So when you have the pill bottle on your desk, it's not at risk of tipping over. Another plus to the pill bottle is that they tend to come in a bunch of different varieties of shapes and sizes. So if for your bigger models, you can have the thicker pill bottles and for the models that are smaller in stature, you can have a smaller paint handle. It'll help manipulate that model a little bit better. Now, one of my favorite handles is this little handle right here. Um, I got this on a trip to Crystal Cave with the family. What came in this originally was crushed, tumbled little gemstones filled the entire vial. You pop the cork and there's a bunch of gemstones in there. Well, what I did was I dumped the gemstones out, put some sand in here, and this tiny little handle is absolutely perfect for painting things in sub-assembly. If you've got a shield like I have on there now that you wanna paint prior to putting it on a model, or if you've got a head or something you wanna take a little bit of extra time on that is a smaller piece, this handle is absolutely perfect. And since it's got a cork top, what I can do is I can pin really small pieces and I can kind of slide the pin into the cork. I, I absolutely love this handle. And the reason I like the blue tack as opposed to something like the double-sided tape is that the blue tack is reusable for a very long time. Even if you get a bunch of paint on this thing, if you just mix it up a bit, stretch it out, knead it, it'll freshen it right back up and you can reuse it again. I've used reused chunks of blue tack for models over upon models. Some of these paint holders that I have still have the original blue tack on them from when I started painting three years ago. And when it comes down to reusability, that's just hobby dollars that you're saving that you can put towards something else. And whereas it may not be a, extremely expensive to buy rolls of double-sided tape to use it that way. The way I look at it is every hobby dollar saved is a hobby dollar earned. Since I have started using this hobby handle, the cramping in my hand has all but completely gone away. Aside from those like really extra long paint sessions where you're just kind of sitting at your desk and your, your hands start to lock up, that's going to happen. But the hour into painting hand cramping need to put my model down situation that doesn't happen anymore i can paint for a much more extended amount of time while using the hobby handle aside from defeating the dreaded crampy hand 
the painting handle has also added a lot of stability to my painting. I had noticed almost an immediate improvement in my brush control when I started using the painting handle. And a big part of that is that stability. The fact that you can plant your hands down and kind of really stabilize yourself as you're painting. Whereas when you're painting without a handle, you kind of start to get the, the shaky hand, which is a cousin to crampy hand. All the bad hand stuff happens when you're not painting with a painting handle. And it is mainly because of this improvement in my brush control and stability that I consider the painting handle a level up. Do you use a painting handle? If so, what painting handle do you use? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider visiting the Robin's Nest Facebook group. There I post updates about the channel and I post some pictures of models that I don't make videos about. You can also check out a gallery of some of my finished minis over at robinsneststudios.net. Remember to like, share, subscribe, all that other social media stuff. It really does help out the channel a lot. For now, I've got to fly. As always, keep on painting, peeps.